Turning your vision into reality. Crafting a business plan for success. When starting a business, everything begins with a vision, an idea of what you want to achieve. That vision is like the big picture of your hopes and dreams for the business. But to make that vision a reality, you need a clear plan. And that's where a business plan comes in. A business plan is like a roadmap. It takes your big ideas and organizes them into actionable steps. A strong business plan doesn't just stop at the big picture. It also includes the short-term goals, what you want to achieve soon, long-term goals, what you want to achieve later, a budget, how much money you'll need and how you'll spend it, and any other details you'll need to get started. This guide is here to help. Step by step, an expert will show you how to write a business plan that's realistic, practical, and easy to follow. Think of it as a tool to help you stay on track and guide your daily operations as you launch your business. So let's start our business journey. Next, we will learn and implement step by step. Start with a vision. What it means. A vision is the cornerstone of your business. It's the big picture idea that defines what you ultimately want to achieve. Think of it as the destination on a journey. It provides clarity about where you're headed. Your vision isn't just about immediate goals. It's about the larger purpose that drives your business. It encapsulates your aspirations, values, and the impact you hope to make in the world. For example, a vision for a small coffee shop might be to become the heart of our community, offering a welcoming space where people connect over exceptional coffee. Why it matters. Your vision sets the tone for everything you do. It acts as a guiding light that ensures every decision, action, and strategy aligns with your long-term purpose. Without a clear vision, it's easy to lose focus or become reactive, chasing short-term gains that don't serve your larger goals. Here's why it's so crucial. One Direction. Your vision keeps you on track, helping you prioritize efforts and allocate resources effectively. Two, inspiration. It motivates you and your team, providing a shared sense of purpose. Three, identity. It shapes how customers and stakeholders perceive your business, differentiating you in the market. Four, resilience. A strong vision helps you stay committed during challenging times, reminding you why you started in the first place. How to develop your vision. One, reflect on what you're passionate about and why your business exists. Two, consider the long-term impact you want to make on your customers, community, or industry. Three, write a concise and inspiring statement that captures your aspirations. Your vision should be ambitious yet achievable, something that excites you and guides your business to grow with purpose. The role of a business plan. What it means, a business plan is a comprehensive document that outlines the goals, strategies, and steps needed to transform your business idea into reality. It serves as a structured blueprint for your vision, detailing everything from your target market and financial projections to your marketing and operational strategies. Think of it as a practical guide that explains not just what you want to achieve, but also how you plan to achieve it. Why it matters. A business plan is vital because it serves multiple purposes. One, roadmap for success. It acts as a clear guide for you and your team, ensuring everyone understands the goals and direction of the business. It keeps you organized and focused on achieving specific milestones. Decision-making tool. By outlining key components, such as market analysis, financial planning, and resource allocation, it helps you make informed decisions. It identifies potential risks and opportunities preparing you to tackle challenges effectively. Three, attracting investors and stakeholders. If you're seeking funding or partnerships, a well-crafted business plan shows investors that you've done your homework and that your business is viable. It builds confidence in your ability to execute your vision. Four, measuring progress. The plan provides benchmarks for measuring your growth and success. As your business evolves, you can refer back to it to assess whether you're on track or need to adjust your strategies. In short, a business plan is not just a document, it's a strategic tool that guides you from idea to execution while helping you manage risks, seize opportunities, and achieve your entrepreneurial goals. Outline Short-Term Goals, a Teaching and Descriptive Guide. What it means. 
Short-term goals are specific, actionable objectives you plan to achieve within a relatively brief time frame, typically weeks to a few months. These goals often serve as stepping stones toward larger, long-term aspirations. Examples of short-term goals include launching a new product or service, creating a functional and visually appealing website, attracting your first customers or users, reaching a specific revenue or engagement benchmark. They should be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, ensuring clarity and focus. Why it matters. Short-term goals are vital because they, one, provide direction. They help you map out actionable steps, making your broader vision feel attainable. Two, build momentum. Achieving quick wins boosts morale and creates positive energy, motivating you and your team to keep progressing. Three, allow for adjustments. These goals give you opportunities to evaluate progress, learn, and tweak your strategies as needed without a significant investment of time or resources. Four, set the foundation for growth. Immediate achievements pave the way for long-term success, ensuring your plans are on solid footing. By focusing on short-term goals, you create a sense of accomplishment, gain valuable insights, and set the stage for sustained progress. Defining long-term goals. What it means. Long-term goals are the major achievements or milestones you aim to accomplish over an extended period, often several years. These goals typically reflect your larger aspirations and strategic vision. For example, they might include expanding your business operations, entering new markets, or positioning yourself as a leader in your industry. They go beyond day-to-day -day tasks or short-term wins, focusing instead on the bigger picture of where you want to be in the future. Why it matters. Long-term goals are essential for maintaining direction and focus. They provide a framework for decision-making, ensuring that the choices you make today align with the growth and success you want to achieve tomorrow. By setting these overarching objectives, you create a roadmap for sustainable development, which helps you remain motivated and resilient even when challenges arise. Without long-term goals, it's easy to get lost in immediate tasks and miss opportunities for strategic growth. In summary, defining long-term goals helps you clarify your aspirations, prioritize your efforts, and stay committed to achieving success over time. Set a budget. What it means. Setting a budget involves creating a financial plan that outlines your income, expenses, and savings. It helps you determine how much money you need, allocate resources effectively, and manage your finances responsibly. This process includes identifying all sources of income, estimating expenses, both fixed and variable, and establishing financial goals. Why it matters. A well-thought-out budget is essential for financial stability and success. Here's why. Preparation for costs. A budget ensures you anticipate and account for all potential expenses, whether they're regular bills, unexpected emergencies, or future investments. Avoiding financial pitfalls. Without a clear budget, overspending or missing essential payments becomes easier, leading to debt or financial stress. Resource optimization. A budget helps you prioritize spending on what matters most and reduces unnecessary expenses. Goal achievement. Whether saving for a big purchase, paying off debt, or investing, a budget helps you stay on track to meet your financial goals. Example in action. Imagine you're planning to renovate your home. By setting a budget, you 1. Determine how much you can spend based on your savings and expected income. 2. Allocate funds for materials, labor, and contingencies. 3. Track and adjust expenses as the project progresses. This planning prevents overspending and ensures you're financially ready for unexpected costs. Incorporate essential details in a business plan. What it means. When creating a business plan, it's important to go beyond simply outlining your goals and budgets. While those elements are fundamental, a truly effective business plan incorporates additional crucial details that provide a complete picture of how your business will operate and succeed. These include market research, understanding your target market, its size, demographics, needs, and buying behaviors. This helps identify opportunities and challenges in the marketplace. Competitor analysis, evaluating your competitors' strengths, weaknesses, pricing strategies, and market positioning. This allows you to define your unique value proposition and gain a competitive edge.
Operational plans, describing the processes and systems for running your business day to day, including logistics, supply chain management, and staffing needs. Why it matters. Incorporating these elements ensures that your business plan is not only comprehensive, but also actionable. A well-rounded plan addresses all critical aspects. It provides a roadmap for tackling various challenges from market entry to growth strategies. Supports decision-making. Detailed research and analysis help you make informed decisions based on data rather than assumptions. Inspires confidence. A thorough plan reassures investors, partners, and stakeholders that you've carefully considered all facets of the business. In essence, these details transform a basic outline into a robust strategy for success, ensuring you're prepared for both opportunities and obstacles. Stick to the plan. What it means. Stick to the plan emphasizes the importance of creating a business plan that is realistic, practical, and achievable. Your business plan isn't just a document you prepare to secure funding or impress stakeholders, it's your roadmap. It should outline clear, actionable steps that you can consistently follow no matter the challenges or distractions that arise. A good plan accounts for your resources, time, and goals, and it remains flexible enough to adapt to unforeseen circumstances without losing its essence. Essentially, your plan should not only look good on paper, but also work well in real life situations. Why it matters. A well thought out business plan is essential for guiding your daily operations and ensuring you stay aligned with your long-term goals. Here's why sticking to it is crucial. One, clarity and direction. It helps you prioritize tasks and make decisions efficiently by keeping your focus on what truly matters for your business growth. Two, consistency. Following a consistent approach ensures steady progress, builds trust with stakeholders, and creates predictability in operations. Three, tracking progress. A plan gives you measurable milestones so you can regularly assess whether you're on track or need adjustments. Four, avoiding distractions. Without a plan, it's easy to get sidetracked by trends, competition, or short-term challenges. Sticking to the plan keeps you grounded and focused. Building confidence. A realistic plan provides reassurance and motivation making you more confident in your journey towards success. In summary, sticking to a well-prepared plan is like staying on a carefully charted course. It doesn't just help you reach your destination, but also makes the journey more manageable and rewarding. Leverage expert guidance. What it means. Tapping into the knowledge and experience of experts allows you to streamline the process of developing and perfecting your business plan. Experts bring valuable insights, proven strategies, and a clear understanding of what works and what doesn't in specific industries or contexts. Why it matters. Seeking expert advice significantly boosts the quality and effectiveness of your business plan. Experts can help you identify potential pitfalls, refine your goals, and tailor your plan to meet your unique needs and market conditions. This personalized approach increases the likelihood of achieving success, saving you time, effort, and resources. How to apply it. One, find the right experts. Look for professionals with experience in your industry or business niche. They could be consultants, mentors, or even online resources. Two, ask specific questions. Prepare targeted queries about areas where you feel less confident, such as financial projections, market analysis, or competitive strategy. Three, incorporate feedback. Take their suggestions seriously and integrate them into your plan to make it more robust and realistic. By leveraging expert guidance, you not only enhance your business plan, but also build a strong foundation for long-term success. Crafting an executive summary, a step-by-step -step guide. An executive summary is a concise, powerful introduction to your business. It serves as a key tool for capturing the attention of potential investors, partners, or stakeholders. This document not only provides a snapshot of your business, but also persuades readers to want to learn more. Let's explore how to brainstorm, draft, and refine an effective executive summary. Step one, brainstorm the executive summary. Before drafting, focus on gathering your thoughts and key points. Here's how to approach it. One, clarify your business idea. Start by identifying the core elements of your business. 
Answer these foundational questions. What is the name of your business? What product or service are you offering? What problem are you solving? Who is your target audience? Two, develop an elevator pitch. Summarize your business idea in one or two sentences. Imagine you're explaining it in the time it takes to ride an elevator. Example, EcoGlow is a sustainable lighting company that designs solar powered lamps to provide affordable, clean energy to off-grid communities. Three, highlight your market opportunity. Briefly describe the industry or marketplace you're entering. Showcase its potential and why your business stands out. Example, with a growing demand for renewable energy, EcoGlow addresses the $5 billion off-grid lighting market in developing regions. Step two, draft the summary. When drafting, aim for clarity, conciseness, and engagement. Follow these steps. One, start strong. Open with a compelling statement or statistic that captures attention. Example, every year, millions of households lack access to electricity. EcoGlow aims to change that. Two, explain your solution. Present your product or service as the answer to a significant problem. Example, our solar lamps provide a cost-effective, eco-friendly lighting solution that improves quality of life. Three, define your market position. State how your business fits into the current market landscape. Emphasize your competitive edge. Example, unlike traditional lighting solutions, EcoGlow products are affordable, durable, and designed specifically for rural use. Four, include your goals. Outline your business's short-term and long-term goals. This helps convey your vision and strategy. Example, by 2030, EcoGlow aims to reach 1 million households across 15 countries. As step three, seek feedback. One, draft multiple versions. Don't settle for your first attempt. Create a few variations to explore different tones, structures, or key points. Two, collaborate with thought partners. Share your drafts with trusted colleagues, mentors, or industry experts. Ask for constructive feedback to refine your summary. Questions to guide their input include, is the summary clear and engaging? Does it effectively communicate the value proposition? Would it motivate further interest or investment? Three, iterate and improve. Use feedback to polish your summary. Aim for a final version that is professional, persuasive, and easy to understand. Pro tips for success. Be specific and avoid jargon. Use plain language to ensure your summary is accessible to all readers. Focus on the reader's perspective. Highlight why your business matters and how it solves real world problems. Keep it concise. Aim for one to two paragraphs or about 300 words. By following these steps, you'll create a compelling executive summary that sets your business up for success. How to write a company description. A company description provides a deeper understanding of your business, its structure, and its key components. It serves as the foundation for others, investors, customers, or partners, to learn about your operations, objectives, and unique value. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to crafting a strong company description. One, start with basic details. Begin by listing the fundamental details about your business. Registered name, state your official business name as registered legally. Business address, include the physical or mailing address of your operations. Key employees, identify the key personnel involved, such as founders, executives, or team leaders. Highlight their roles and relevance to the business. Example, ABC Innovations LLC is a technology solutions company headquartered at 123 Innovation Lane, Austin, TX. Our team is led by Jane Doe and John Smith, CTO, both with decades of experience in software development. To define your business structure, clarify the legal structure of your company. This detail explains the ownership and management structure, which is critical for understanding operational control and liability. Is your business a sole proprietorship, LLC, partnership, or corporation? If applicable, specify the ownership stakes of key individuals or investors. Example, ABC Innovations operates as a limited liability company, LLC. Jane Doe holds a 70% ownership stake, while John Smith owns the remaining 30%. Shepard 3. Share the company's history. Briefly describe the origin and journey of your business. This includes when and why the company was founded key milestones, such as product launches, major partnerships, or expansion into new markets, evolution of your mission or goals over time. 
Example, founded in 2020, ABC Innovations began as a small team developing custom software for local businesses. By 2023, we had expanded into AI-driven solutions, securing partnerships with Fortune 500 companies and increasing our market share in the tech industry. Four, include your vision and goals, optional. While not mandatory, adding your company's vision or mission can provide a personal and forward-thinking touch to the description. Example, our mission is to empower businesses with cutting-edge technology that simplifies operations and accelerates growth. Final note. A well-crafted company description should be clear, concise, and informative. It not only introduces your business, but also sets the tone for the rest of your business plan or marketing efforts. Tailor your description to your audience and ensure it reflects the unique strengths and values of your company. Brainstorm your business goals, a guide to purposeful planning. No matter where you are in your business journey, starting out, scaling up, or refining your strategy, it's essential to set and reassess your goals regularly. By revisiting your objectives, you can evaluate your progress, adjust strategies, and establish new targets to keep your business moving forward. Numbers-based goals. Numbers-based goals are measurable and provide a clear way to track your business's performance. While financial goals such as profitability or revenue growth are foundational, your objectives should extend beyond dollars and cents. Here are some examples of what to consider. Financial milestones. Setting clear revenue or profit targets. For instance, you might aim to increase monthly revenue by 20% over the next year. Brand awareness. Aiming to reach specific benchmarks, such as growing your social media following to 10,000 followers or achieving a 5% increase in engagement rates. Investment opportunities. If you're seeking funding or are a nonprofit, your goals might include attracting investors, securing grants, or building strategic partnerships. Market growth, targeting new customer segments or expanding into new geographic areas. By breaking these larger goals into smaller, actionable steps, you'll have a clear roadmap for success. Intangible goals. Not all goals are tied to data and numbers. Many are qualitative and equally vital to your business's growth and direction. These intangible goals influence your company's reputation, culture, and long-term strategy. Examples include visibility and public reach, ensuring your brand's message or advertisement connects with your target audience and leaves a lasting impression. Customer satisfaction, focusing on client feedback, like receiving a glowing review or fostering long-term relationships with customers. Team morale and company culture, building a supportive, innovative work environment that attracts and retains talented team members. While intangible goals might not be as easy to measure, they often have a significant impact on your business's overall success. Final thoughts. A balanced mix of tangible, numbers-based, and intangible goals will keep your business grounded in measurable progress while staying aligned with your vision and values. Take time to brainstorm goals that challenge you while remaining achievable. Periodically revisit these goals to celebrate wins, identify obstacles, and refine your approach as your business evolves. Writing a description of your services or products for a business plan. When preparing the services or products section of your business plan, you want to present a clear and compelling narrative about what your business offers. This section should showcase your offerings in a way that highlights their value, uniqueness, and relevance to the market. Below is a step-by-step -step guide to crafting this critical part of your business plan. One, explain what you offer. Start by describing your product or service in detail. Answer questions such as, what is it? Provide a clear definition of your product or service. What does it do? Explain its function or the problem it solves. Who is it for? Define your target customers and the specific needs it addresses. For example, our company offers eco-friendly cleaning products designed for households seeking sustainable alternatives to traditional chemical cleaners. Our products are biodegradable, safe for children and pets, and highly effective on tough stains. Two, show market fit. Demonstrate how your offering fits in the current market landscape. Is it filling a gap? Explain whether your product or service addresses unmet needs. Is it innovative? 
highlight if it's introducing something entirely new or improving on existing solutions. Is it in demand? Reference any market research or trends that indicate the demand for what you're offering. Example, recent studies show that 65% of consumers prefer sustainable cleaning products, yet less than 30% of the current market offers affordable options. Our product fills this gap by combining effectiveness with affordability. Highlight intellectual property if applicable. If you hold any patents, trademarks, or proprietary technology, describe them here. This builds credibility and demonstrates the uniqueness of your business. Example, our innovative enzyme-based cleaning formula is protected under US patent number 123456 and sets us apart from competitors. Four, incorporate visual aids. Visuals can make your description more engaging and easier to understand. Include images or diagrams of your product, charts showing market trends or comparative advantages, prototypes or mock-ups if available. Now five, discuss pricing strategy. Explain how your product or service is priced, cost-based pricing, pricing determined by the cost of production plus a profit margin, value-based pricing, pricing based on the perceived value to the customer, competitive pricing, setting prices based on competitors' offerings. Example, our pricing model is value-driven. For a $10 bottle of cleaner, customers gain peace of mind knowing their purchase supports sustainability and is safe for their families. Six, provide details on materials and production. If your offering involves physical products, discuss the materials used, the production process, any partnerships with manufacturers or suppliers. For services, explain the process or methods used, the tools or technologies involved. By thoroughly addressing these aspects, this section of your business plan will effectively showcase your product or service and its potential to thrive in the market. Conducting market research, a key component of your business plan. Market research is a crucial section of your business plan. This is where you have the opportunity to showcase your understanding of the industry, your unique expertise, and your innovative approach. It demonstrates to stakeholders, be it investors, partners, or customers, why your business is not only viable, but essential in the current market landscape. How one, define the market gap. Start by identifying the specific need or problem in the market that your business addresses. Use data and real world examples to illustrate the gap. For instance, are customers underserved in a particular area? Is there a lack of innovation in the existing products or services? Are competitors failing to address a particular demographic or trend? Two, detail your unique value proposition. Explain how your product or service stands out. What sets you apart? Highlight the features, benefits, or innovations that give you a competitive edge. For example, a technology-driven approach that increases efficiency, expertise in a niche area that others overlook, a customer-centric model tailored to specific needs. Three, analyze the industry landscape. Situate your business within the broader industry. Provide an overview of current trends, opportunities, and challenges. Compare your business to competitors to highlight your strengths. Use SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats to emphasize where you excel. Include data about market size, growth projections, and key drivers that support your business's potential. Four, use supporting data. Incorporate statistics, graphs, and reports to back up your claims. Use customer surveys, industry reports, and competitor analyses to validate your market insights. Example, according to industry report, the market for sustainable packaging is projected to grow by 12% annually, yet only 20% of suppliers meet customer demands for affordability and environmental impact. Our business addresses this critical need by offering cost-effective, eco-friendly solutions. Five, showcase competitive advantages. Clearly outline how your business outperforms others in the market. These advantages could include proprietary technology or processes, strong relationships with suppliers or clients, lower costs due to operational efficiency, a superior customer experience. Example, unlike traditional competitors, our platform leverages AI to deliver personalized solutions, reducing customer acquisition costs by 30%. Hatch 6. Future Outlook. 
Conclude this section with your vision for the future of your business within the market. Discuss plans for growth, scalability, and staying ahead of industry trends. By conducting thorough market research and presenting your findings strategically, you not only strengthen your business plan, but also build confidence in your ability to succeed in the marketplace. This section should convincingly argue why your business is essential, what unique value it brings, and how it is positioned to thrive against competitors. Creating a comprehensive financial plan for your business. Managing costs for long-term success. Creating a financial plan for your business is essential for managing expenses and ensuring its sustainability. While financial goals are key, it's also important to create a detailed budget and set clear expectations for weekly, monthly, and annual spending. Here's a breakdown of different costs you should include in your financial plans. One, business operations costs. Rent or virtual operations software. One of the first and most significant expenses is rent. If you operate a physical location, rent will likely be your largest ongoing expense. However, if your business is remote, you'll need to allocate funds for software and tools that support your virtual operations. These might include cloud storage, communication platforms, or project management tools. Ensure that these costs are factored into your budget to keep your business running smoothly. Two, marketing and sales costs. Marketing and advertising. Marketing is crucial for attracting and retaining customers. Allocate part of your budget to advertising, promotions, social media management, and other marketing strategies. Whether you use traditional media like print ads or digital platforms such as Google Ads and social media, it's important to continually invest in making your target audience aware of your product or service. Sales costs. Similarly, you should account for costs associated with your sales efforts, including commissions, sales tools, and training for your sales team. Investing in your sales department is just as important as your marketing efforts because ultimately, sales are what drive revenue. Three other costs, unexpected expenses, contingency funds. While you can plan for many costs, there will always be unexpected expenses. These might include equipment breakdowns, legal fees, or a sudden market downturn. It's wise to set aside a portion of your budget for emergencies or unanticipated costs. This contingency fund will ensure that your business has the flexibility to adapt to unexpected challenges without jeopardizing its stability. Summary. A well-structured financial plan helps ensure that you can meet your business's operational needs and future goals. By factoring in rent or software costs, marketing and sales expenses, and potential unforeseen costs, you'll be better prepared to handle day-to-day -day expenses as well as unexpected challenges that arise. Proper planning helps safeguard your business's financial health and positions it for long-term success. Why Business Plans Matter, a Teaching Perspective The bottom line, a business plan is a critical tool for businesses of all sizes. It helps define your current position and outline where you want your business to go in the future. Here's why. 1. Clarity and Direction A business plan provides clarity about your objectives, strategies, and the steps needed to achieve your goals. It serves as a roadmap, ensuring that your business stays on track and aligned with your vision. 2. Growth and Vision To grow successfully, a business must have a clear vision of its future. A well-crafted business plan allows you to articulate that vision, break it into actionable goals, and identify the resources and strategies necessary for growth. 3. Decision-Making Tool Business plans help guide your decisions, from daily operations to long-term investments. They provide a framework for evaluating opportunities and challenges, helping you make informed choices. 4. Accountability and Progress Tracking By documenting your goals and strategies, a business plan makes it easier to track your progress and stay accountable. You can measure whether you're meeting milestones or need to adjust your course. Teaching Tip Think of a business plan as your GPS. Just as you wouldn't start a road trip without knowing your destination and how to get there, you shouldn't run a business without a plan. It's not just about where you are now. It's about where you're headed and how to ensure you reach your goals successfully. In summary, 
Creating a business plan sets you up for long-term success by defining your current state, crafting your vision, and mapping out the path to achieve it. 